Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Daniel, aka Daniela, and man, I'm so disappointed. Um, in case you guys don't know, I uh, I do Uber throughout the summer because schools are closed during the summertime, of course. So, um, people in my profession <laughs> were basically out of school with the kids. So, um, so during throughout the summer, I do Uber. And, um, man, I was doing Uber tonight, and this is the second summer I've done it. And, <coughs> excuse me, so disappointed. I am very disappointed in black people. Why? Because today is July 3rd. Um, it's going on July 4th. And here in Columbus, we have a red, white, and boom. And,. Doing Uber down there, I shouldn't have did it. It was a fucking mistake because they block off every street down there. Uh, and it was hard to get to clients. I didn't get to not one client down there because it was so backed up. People canceled. Uh, I was being um, rerouted because so many areas were blocked off and it was just frustrating. I was like, never again will I do this shit. Um, but I noticed on my way while driving down there, while the boom was happening, uh, I noticed that about half or more than half of the people that I seen down there were fucking Negroes celebrating the 4th of July. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Doesn't make any fucking sense because when was Independence Day? Independence Day was July 4th, 1776. What the fuck was Negroes doing at that time? We were doing absolutely nothing but slavery. So what the fuck do we have to celebrate? We don't have nothing to fucking celebrate at all. Yet you see countless, countless fucking Negroes that are cheering and participating in the 4th of July celebration. Celebrating a pagan fucking holiday. Celebrating a wicked holiday. <coughs> Excuse me. Celebrating a holiday where two groups of white people who are actually the same fucking people fighting against each other for their right to oppress you, you fucking stupid Negroes, to kill more Native Americans. That's, that's what the fuck I see about the Independence Day. They broke off from Britain so they can oppress more niggers. And so they can kill more motherfucking Native Americans. And y'all niggers celebrate this shit. You fucking Negroes celebrate this shit. Your ancestors weren't citizens when this fucking sit uh when this fucking country gained its independence to fucking oppress other people. Your ancestors were either being killed or they were fucking slaves. Some may say, well, oh, yeah. Black people did fight in the independence and the revolution and all that shit. That's true. Look at this. See, we got Negroes out here popping fireworks right now. Yeah, it's true. We did. But, you know, we were fighting for our own fucking oppression. <laughs> it's not like we were fighting for the freedom of our own people. We were we were still on that fucking nigga shit. That, that individualism type shit. That selfish type mode where we fought for ourselves because remember the black people who fought for the British they got freed the black people who fought for America they were freed but remember that wasn't offered to all blacks that was only offered to a few black people that was only offered to a few black people and then after we helped them fight for the independence of this country guess what there was still slavery for the next hundred and something years and even to this day, those black people who fought in a war, guess what? Their descendants are still being killed today unjustly by fucking white people. Yeah, I know that our ancestors have been here. Our ancestors have fought in independence. Yeah, I know that over 60% of white people who celebrate Independence Day today, their ancestors weren't here during 1776. But we still, 
<coughs> that don't mean shit. We still don't even, we still shouldn't celebrate this shit. Because we're not viewed as fucking humans here. It's just as celebrating this shit is just as silly as black women joining the fucking feminist movement, fighting for equality for women when they're not even considered fucking humans here. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I'm just I am so disappointed in black people. It makes me sick. Over half of the people, like I said, over half of the people down there. Or fucking black people. I know the white people were down there looking at them crazy because I remember when my dad used to take us when we were kids. White people would look at us like we were fucking crazy. And mind you, at that time there was still a lot of black people going. <sighs> Negroes are <was> sleeping. <coughs> Negroes are sleeping. And I tell you, when the race war breaks out. I find it hard that these Negroes are going to step up and fight against their fucking oppressors. Step up and fight against these fucking evil white terrorists. Because they're so into this fucking world. They're so into this damn society. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I have to say. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Shalom. Kwame Shalom.